Hello and welcome to Mixing with the Geek. Today I have two very special guests, Leslie and David Solmanson, co-authors of the book, The 12 Bottle Bar. Welcome, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having us, Thank you very much. So you created the cocktail for the June 2015 album for Vinyl Me Please. We did, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's called The Dawn of Summer. So what we did is the album is Hot Chip in Our Heads. And we, we look at, took a listen to the album, we wanted to do something that was kind of dance club-esque, but also sort of retro, because you find a lot of influences in Hot Chip and their music. So we took a, we went back to that era to the Studio 54 drinks that you might find, and the one that kind of really appealed to us was the Tequila Sunrise. And we wanted to play around with that drink, partly because that was a drink you actually saw at Studio 54, <laughs> but also it's delicious when it's done right. At, at its base, the Tequila Sunrise can be a, a horrible, horrible drink. It, like in its worst version, it's tequila, which is good. Yeah. It's, it's orange juice and it's grenadine, which typically can be very, very bad ingredients. And in the 70s especially, they were probably using, you know, just a pour of orange juice from the bottle from the store and some grenadine from a bottle as well. So we wanted, we wanted to take that drink, craft it up a little bit, but without getting like too esoteric with it. Mm -hmm. And then one of the things we liked about the Hot Chip album was that you know, these guys have put a lot of thought into their music. There's, there's a lot of layers and stuff there, but it's still enjoyable electro pop. So you, know, you still yeah. can dance to it, you can still listen to it. So we, we wanted to make sure we got Shouldn't there. Shouldn't be so. too serious a cocktail, right? I you, love that. You want to be able to like be holding your glass and dancing. So the most important ingredient for any cocktail is a glass. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so first we need to fill that with some ice. So we, we could have gone with tequila, we love tequila, but um, we want to do something a little bit different. We want to, we, we always want to do something a little punk rock, if you will, and, yeah. and, and pick the thing that you wouldn't pick. And that's what we liked about the Hot Chip album was there's always something that catches you off guard. Yeah. So what we used was Yenever, which here I got a good bottle right here. Um, Yenever is the precursor to gin, it's the granddaddy of gin. If you put gin on one side and whiskey on the other and you drew a, a, a for both right. of them, Try. it would be yeah. Yenever. There it is. The neighbors up there. And this one in particular, the Deep Nines from Belgium, the bowls over here we'll show you because this is another option people can use, is from Holland. And, and we want Ouda, which means old style. Okay. okay. Yeah. Doesn't mean it's old, it just means old style. It's the way I was saying, not young, which is like the vodka type. We have an ounce and a half of our your neighbor. Your right. next tequila sunrise type ingredient would be orange juice. And the problem with oranges that we find is that they are incredibly inconsistent. So we have found that Mineola's are much juicier and much sweeter and more consistent. So here we use Mineola and a little uh, Clementine mixed. Don't be afraid to use other citruses. So if you see a recipe you like and it right. says orange juice, find something else. Clementine are genius in a drink. And then we have an ounce of lemon juice. Now, your really basic bad tequila sunrise recipe is just orange juice, grenadine, and tequila. We brought in the lemon juice just to punch it up a little bit, especially because we're gonna put in an ounce of grenadine, and then the, you lace this over the top, so just pour it around the inside. In the book, one of the things we recommend is making your own grenadine. So this, you get this nice, beautiful, you know, ribbons of, of the grenadine going down, and you get that tequila sunrise profile, which is the grenadine sits on the bottom. three layers, essentially. Awesome, that looks great. And we need to stir it up. Yep. Now rather than, one of the things that we love about this drink is that most people will ask you with a cocktail, shaken or stirred. This is neither. Yeah, it's stirred, but the customer stirs it. So it's built. You want to do the honors or lotion? Sure. And you can yeah. just stir the hell out of it. And yeah. You Play want to give it a good mix. It. And again, the, the separation is for the presentation of it, but when you drink it, you want to get everything mixed up there. Let's try this out. This is what's what we uh, came here for. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. I see what you mean. Wow. Okay, the citrus really pops. Yeah. It's orange, but it's it's more than orange. Yeah, it's not your typical orange juice. Yeah. It definitely has a different character to it. Um, you know, we, we found with grapefruit as well, um, something interesting that happens is that, um, yeah. Oh, okay. yep. Um, is that, you know, drinks today, they're not gonna taste like drinks used to, you know, 40, 50, no. 60 years ago, certainly not around the golden age, because ingredients change. Fruit changes. You know, the, the terroir where an orange was growing, and it really is terroir, um, changes the soil content and minerals. So a grapefruit from back then, totally different than grapefruit from today. An orange back then, most likely different from today. You know, we've, we've added a lot of things to drinks, like a little dash of lime where the drink never called for it, just to equalize the balance. Lemon in this one. Yeah, but I'm saying yeah. another drink. Another drink. Yeah. And in this one, that's what we did, is we wanted Lime would have been a bit, more... bit too harsh here. Mm -hmm. The lemon gives you that, that pop without uh, without going a little, you know, too tannic. Too bitter. And, too bitter. Yeah, yeah and, and I also, I, I made this drink with the bowls, mm. and it was a very different uh, profile. Yeah, you'll like, find all these. This is much lighter, I found. Exactly, yeah. and yeah. that's, very clearly the difference between these two your neighbors and this particular style again that floral lightness and the very malty quality that the bolts have. And if you want something like Anchor Distilling Genevieve which is an American I your neighbor's yeah. style yeah. gin, yeah. 
Um, that'll give you, that even has a lot more botanicals even yeah. in the bowl, so that really pops in your yeah. But it works well, I mean, any of those work. Again, if we're thinking, thinking of hot chip, we're thinking of the dance floor. You want a drink that's, that's quick, easy to assemble, yeah. a little crafty without trying to go overboard. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not distilling my own bitters here to, to put into this drink. <laughs> yeah. To make a good version yeah. of the drink. Really and refreshing. Cool. That was, I think, yeah. a key is that we wanted that refreshment, that sort of happy feeling. That's no, perfect. It's, it's, I love the balance of it. It, it reminds me kind of a, of a Capri Sun in a little bit. Sure. sure. Hey, there we yeah. go. Hey. You know, a, a, a boozy drink that yeah. takes you back to childhood. That's the way to do it. Awesome. <laughs> good times. Good times in the glass. Oh, thank you. Yeah, right thank there. You. Love it. Love it. Dawn of summer. Dawn mm -hmm. of summer. Dawn say of it, summer. Say it fast and you'll get the, the pun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dawn of summer. Dawn of summer. <laughs> Dawn of summer. Dawn of summer. Well, this is fantastic. Hope you guys enjoy making your own Dawn of summer. Be sure to check out the book, The 12 Bottle Bar. It's awesome. I've read it. It's, it's fantastic. It, it's perfect for any anybody starting out and anybody who's had a lot of experience because there's always places where you can improve. Thank you. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, we hope so. Thank you guys for being on the program. Thank I you really for having us. Really appreciate it. That yeah. no, was fun. Let's yeah. be drinking. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you again for watching. I am your Vinyl Geek and I'll catch you on the flip side.